Okay, here we are asked to evaluate this expression. Cube square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of something. And as we can see, the 3 plus 2, actually this one repeats uh, until infinity. Okay, at first this looks complex though because it seems like we don't, it doesn't seem to end. It does not end really, but we can use some amazing techniques in mathematics, particularly quadratic form that may eventually solve this problem. So the first, the very first step in our solution to this is we let this to be equal to y, okay? Let this whole thing be equal to y. Or, yeah, we, I, I will just use x, equal to x. So what's the first step? We square both sides, okay? By squaring both sides, what do we get? Well, this one will become x squared, okay? And then this will one of the squared will be removed and you will be left with three plus two cube root of and a square root of three plus two. Okay? So not, not nothing really special, right? Three plus two cube root of three plus something something. Okay? We are we aren't done yet. Now what have we done? Well, not much really, but what can we see from here is that this this thing this thing actually is just what this thing here actually just looks like the val just look like the x right it is 3 plus 2 and it continues really without n so we can just replace that no we can we can the technique here is to replace that now with x and now we are getting a quadratic equation which of course right with which which involves the value of x and we'll just solve for the value of this to get the value of this whole expression okay so how do we do that well let me make the left side zero so i have x squared minus 2x minus 3 and i factor that x minus 3 x plus 1 learn early how to factor master how to factor so so that because most of the problems in computation math will be factorable because we don't have calculator and we are really uh, time pressured so it must be really easy to factor so here you will have x minus 3 equals 0 and then you have x plus 1 equals 0 so x equals 3 or x equals negative 1 surely this is not this is an extraneous solution because what because clearly here x is not a negative number but a what a, a positive number because we are only talk, talking about here the principal root meaning the positive root so here the answer will be x this whole term will just be equal to 3